Hello everybody. This tutorial is about the red transform component of the UI object in Unity. Now I will explain what is anchor and pivot and I will show you how it works by giving you some example. And uh, if you are watching this video, I guess you probably have to watch the official one and find yourself don't understand anything after watching five times just like me. And that's why I'm doing this video. So I hope it can help. So let's get started. And in the window, you can see that I've created a canvas and a text object. Uh, and everybody know that we can adjust the position by directly dragging it on, on the canvas. So you may ask, what is this so complicated? Now here's the problem. Say I put it in the lower right corner, just like this. And the problem is, when I change the size of the screen, now you can see it no longer stay in the right corner. So, and this is why, uh, this is where the problem is, and which is why we need to understand what is anchor and pivot. Now, what is anchor? The anchor, when we take the UI element, we can see this X shape, and this is the anchor. And the anchor is formed by four triangles. And actually, we can separate them by dragging them apart, just like this. Uh, I want you to notice that when they are put together, on the inspector, it is showing position X, position Y, width and height. And when they are separated, it will change to left top, right, and bottom. This two K work a little bit differently, and I will first start with the case when they are separated. Now, say I drag it back to here. So what it does is the left is indicating its distance of the left side and the left side of of the and the left side of the uh, rectangle formed by the four anchor. So when I change it to 10, here it is. Now I think you can understand what is it doing. So, and uh, in this case, this is very easy to understand. Now let's change, move on to the case when they are put together. Now when they are to put together, the, the position X and position Y indicate the distance between the anchor and the pivot of the UI element. Now what is the pivot? You can see on the inspector the pivot is set, set to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Now the pivot is a point on the text element. When it is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 it means the center uh, it means the center of the text. And um, this xy is the value of 0 to 1. So here is 0 of x, here is 1 of x here is 0 of y, and here is 1 of y. So, and, and in here, it means the distance between uh, the pivot and the anchor on the x side. This side, this one, is 157, and here is 17. So, when I change it to 10, 10, and here it is, 0, 0. Now, um, what if I want to set it to the lower right corner, like what we did before, right? And what we can do is we can change the anchor. We can drag the anchor. Oh, drag the anchor to the lower right corner. And then we can set this corner to be the pivot. Uh, we can do that by setting the pivot to uh, x is 1, y is 0, right? And then change the position x and position y to 0. Oh, this is how we do it. Now, another way that we can do it is uh, using the 2 of the unity in here. We click it and uh, it show tell us that pressing shift and alternate at the same time, we can set the pivot and the position. So here is what we do, right? Very easy to understand. One last thing I want to show you is uh, here, the mean max value of the anchor. Now, uh, this is for adjusting the, the position of the four triangle. Now, the mean x is indicating the left side, this one, this one. So say we change it to zero and you see it, it is uh, moved to 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 the left most side 
just like that, right? Uh, the y, the the mean y is this side. The max x is this side, right? Which change it to zero point five. The max y if uh, this side, we change it to one. So here it is. Uh, yeah, that's all for my tutorial, and um, I hope it can help you. This is the first time I'm doing tutorial, so I know it is a very ugly video, and I hope um, it can at least let you understand what it what is pivot and anchor. So if you like this, please uh, give me a like. Thank you for watching. See you.